left knee. An aggravating situation now. Wisconsin will kick it away to Singleton back in his own end zone as he'll let it sail right into there. Well, this was the play that we noticed he was limping. Not able to step into it, the ball sailed on him, went into the lines here in the third quarter. We'll see what type of weapon he is on the ground. 13 total touchdowns in his Penn State career. They run it with Singleton, and that's a good gash on first down. Singleton across the 40, exactly what the Nittany Lions were looking for out of the break. Yeah, really nice job. He's going to keep it himself this time, and he's got wheels. Perbula slides down after a pickup of eight. When he would come in as a change of pace quarterback, that was his spin. Involved with a lot of those trick plays, including that crazy touchdown to Tyler Warren against USC. This time he will look to throw. Perbula lob it over the top, incomplete. Just put it in the wrong spot for Singleton. He was looking for Tyler Warren on this play. Little stuck with Singleton stride for stride. It's third down and a short three. Extra offensive lineman in. Awane, number 71, lined up as the wing. For Bula, quick throw. Warren, oh, he makes the grab. First down, the sure hands of the superstar tight end. This is an RP, even more than anybody else, and only one drop. Mr. Dependable, the perfect definition of that security blanket. Fleming now in the backfield. For Bula keeps it himself. And that was read perfectly by Wooler. So now the Wisconsin defense has to kind of change their focus a little bit. Looking for Warren, well covered downfield by Austin Brown, the nickel. Four release out and then up the sideline. And the ball's thrown a little bit too far in. Back games at the half, but they've outscored opponents this year 59 to 3 in the third quarter. Note with Perbula in there, third down and seven. Bringing four, shovel pass. Allen has to get to the outside. Allen not going to get there, just across the 40 with a big hit by Forker. Down a little bit. And then there's, there's penalty. There's fourth and nine now. They're fourth and seven. They tried to stay in the huddle late and then come and snap it quick. Offense, number 71. Five yard penalty. It's still fourth down. And again, it's it's not back in the game, and now they have to punt the football. So Yoane with the slight jump, and now Riley Thompson will send it to Hunter Wohler. Looking to pin them deep. Wohler will bring in the fair catch at the 11. So Wisconsin's defense gets the stop. Well, Noah, James Franklin told me at the half that Wisconsin's punter, Atticus Bertrams, has been the MVP of this game. And he said this game really boils down to field position, and we need better. At the end of the half, he was in the medical tent for a while, had trouble standing on his right side. James Franklin said he's questionable. Now he is out on defense right now for Penn State, but we'll keep an eye on his progress as this game evolves, guys. Yeah, I would say questionable has turned into probable, has turned into available very quickly. <laughs> and Dennis Sutton is in there. A first down carry goes to top. Walker and he is met with a bear hug by Kobe King. Yeah, great read by Kobe King. Just quick. And over in in his place. Walker just trying to get something positive. That'll help. As he was fending off Jalen Reed, the leading tackler on this team coming in. Look at Dennis Sutton yeah. just getting checked out. So you already lose your starting quarterback and deny Dennis Sutton clearly tough trying to showcase that he can play through the pain. But it might be a longer night at the office for this defense potentially without it. Third and six now for Wisconsin. They average needing eight yards to go on third down in the first half. That going on motion. Oh, they could have had the free play. Didn't snap the ball in time, so now play clock under 10. They wanted to see the Penn State defense make them show their hand with that movement. Lock, quick throw, and he airmailed it. And it was in the direction of Vinnie Anthony and incomplete. Get the ball back in good field position for Bo Pabula. Here's James Franklin's MVP of the first half. Bertram's back on. Can he flip the field again? Yeah, that's going to do it. Tracy on a one hop is taken down immediately. Great play by Paul. Eventually, late this season, he'll win another Big Ten championship. Pabula the quarterback with both his tight end and his running back, Allen, in there. And Allen will pick up three. You know, in games like this, of this magnitude, with fairly divided on three key categories turnover, turnover margin, explosive plays, runs of an explosive play. And Penn State has not been able to generate the kind of long passes or long runs that they're accustomed to. Perbula drops it on the exchange. 
Did he get back on it before Peterson could get to it? And he does. Third down and long. Well, again, that rushing unit in. Those outside linebackers that play in passing situations. Warren in the slot on third down and eight. I think the play clock went down. I don't think they got the playoff. Delay game. Offense. To have procedural excellence. And that was a tough situation for any quarterback. Tyler Warren at the top. Formation of the boundary. They like wheel routes. Third and 13. Probula in trouble. Probula. Got a completion. Wow. It's Allen, but it's short of the first down. What a play by Probula to just keep it alive. Delancey not drive. That's going to result in a punt for the Nittany Lions. Thompson has gotten busy after a good start for the Penn State offense avoiding this. Waller back. Fair catch called. Fair catch made at the 12. So another solid punt from Tom. Lines here, but he went into the huddle just now without this defense already again without their starting quarterback Drew Aller in this second half. And now can Braden Lock in this Wisconsin offense take advantage? It's Walker for another loss. Kobe King has been in the right place at the right time. Ball game. That might have been their best first down play of the ball game. A loss of yardage and second and long behind the chains now for Braden Lock. Probably Walker had established the rhythm. That final drive of the second quarter, but again, he's going backwards here. Quick play by Smith. Wisconsin offense. Play clock's already under 10 as they finally get to the line here. Backed up way inside their 10 now. Third and 14. Locked from his end zone. It's picked off. Jalen Reed. Touchdown. Huge play for the Penn State. He's thrown an interception, at least one. And that foul will be enforced in the succeeding kickoff. That's number one's first unsportsmanlike conduct foul of the game. Backer a bit. Safety is natural position, a little bit of cornerback. And we see just the, the clear instincts out there with a huge play for this defense and overall this team as Barker makes it 14-10. Well, he's best off when he's closer to the line of scrimmage instead of bad up that disaster for Wisconsin. And he does get this one inside the 15. It's going to be taken there and only so far get it to the 34 for Iacomelli. He felt like he had to make a play on third and long. And he forced a bad throw. And they get the running game going. Instead, it's Pauling on a quick throw, and he'll get towards the 40. The credit the Penn State defense, right? They're, they're in quarter this whole season. There's three points allowed on the year. Hand off. This time it's going to go to Dupree, and he's going to be dragged from behind. Loses a yard. Nothing moving in a positive direction. Third down and six. Block. Over the middle, Anthony, first down near midfield. And a really nice to the air, delivers, sideline, high rainbow is caught. C.J. Williams tracked it the entire way for the big gain. Well, they went with a quick snap, and you could see the corner. Harris was not quite set. Williams. That's a heck of an effort for 33 yards. Now it's Walker on the ground. Stopped in the backfield, Ford with another TFL. Second down and 11. Walker, just keep going to him and see if he can finally bust one loose. Gets just past the original line of scrimmage as Wheatley chops him down. Right now, these outside rushers on the run play for Penn State are not respecting the quarterback's ability to pull the ball and run. They are crashing hard down the line of scrimmage to stop the run from behind. You wonder if Braden Locke is seeing that and taking note of it for later in the game. Pauling at the bottom of the screen for third down and nine. Looking in the middle, and Anthony with a tough grab with Zion Tracy attached to his hip. Will pick up a couple and set, set up about fourth and seven. Yeah, it was the exact same play they converted on third down a little while ago. That time Penn State was ready for it, made the switch. The opening drive. And this one can bring this back to a one-point game. Myers the hold, Pfeiffer the snap, and Vakos drills it.
Back to one. Leads by one. 244. Oh, what's going on here? It's Halloween, bro. Yeah, you're right. We'll see if this Penn State offense can find something now with Drew Aller on the sideline. Corbula on. They drop this. Singleton has to scoop it up and make something out of nothing. He won't get back to the 20. As explosive as he did when we saw him against Illinois yeah. four weeks ago. Only six carries for Singleton, 26 yards. He does have the three catches for 38 and the touchdown. Warren in motion on first down here. Play action for Bula. Oh, that's a tight window that he squeezes it in. Clifford with a first down of 12. And his first catch of the game. Clifford's in the slot. It can be dependable, especially from the slot. Fresh set of downs. It is Singleton. Following his blocker, Singleton puts his head down as we send it down to KT for an update. Guys, just an update on the right tackle position for Penn State. Anthony Dunco, the redshirt freshman, has been nursing an injury here on the sideline. Made his way over to Penn State because he thought he could get some more playing time. Here's the opportunity to prove yeah. Second down and two after the eight-yard run from Singleton. Stick with it. Singleton won't get there. Tripped up by Waller. Saturdays third down and one Singleton up the middle he's got plenty first down thing I love about coming up here to do games it's it's just statewide yeah be more inclined to pull that ball and run it more so than Drew Alley too long to make that decision play action for Bula pumps for Bula will run for Bula has speed that's a nice gain yeah. in the Badger territory as Austin. I had to throw the screen to Singleton, and it was covered. 